Opera Idol test? What? Well, yeah, it kind of makes you wonder what's in the water there in Blue Springs. Out of 1,500 opera hopefuls, Blue Springs graduate Ben Gully is one of 15 finalists headed to the Metropolitan Opera this weekend for the shot at being named the best of the best. Ben Gully is analyzing the pitch and color of each note. I'm still trying to trust that place in the top. Preparing for the performance of a lifetime. Drink and chew, crazy. Only understanding. He's competing for the title of grand finalist winner of the Metropolitan Opera National Auditions. You get to sing with the Met Orchestra, which will be ridiculous. <laughs> please, please, yeah. His vocal instructor says it's amazing Ben has come so far in the competition. 24 is very young in operatic years. This is, I mean, very young. Before 30, having any sort of major success is pretty astounding. Italian opera rolls off his tongue, but Ben Gully didn't start studying opera until two years ago. I grew up singing gospel in the church and pop music. It was when he came in and just sang, you know, the hardest phrase of the tenor aria from the lamp. Is that good? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now it all comes down to this weekend. Center stage, bright lights, and of course... Really with these things it comes down to what the judges think. So, And on any given day they could have a different opinion. David Cook wins the night. Sounds like what his high school buddy David Cook went through last year. He really deserved that spotlight and that attention. It was a good platform to get him launched. And now Ben stands on his own platform. I've always dreamed of it, though, I won't lie. There's something pretty special about what he offers. There's a, there's a beauty and a commitment to it, the, to the sound and to the performing that is, is pretty extraordinary. And And Ben says he'd be thrilled to make the top ten, but winning would be a great gift. The winner gets $15,000, which would help since he's getting married this fall. Tess Koppelman, Fox 4 News. Bravo.